Hello, Internets, and welcome to my live reaction for Fire Brigade of Flames, Chapter 104. Uh, when we last left off, um, we started out with most of the gang except Shinra and Arthur fighting a shit ton of, like, like random flame humans. Um, it was going pretty difficultly, um, because there are just so many of them. And then we saw that Maki had found Haumea, and Arthur had run off to take care of her. And Shinra and Charon are not going well. Inka's run off. Uh, Charon has Shinra pretty, like, right where he wants him. And then um, Hinoa and Vulcan found a horned flame human, which is pretty bad. Uh, so yeah, chapter 104, Bonds Between the Fire Scenes. Uh, we see on the cover page this, like, colossal titan-looking flame human. Like, the way he's, like, he's outlined reminds me of the colossal titan, looking like, like the tendons and bones and shit. Uh, Shinron and Charon battle over Inca. Meanwhile, Vulcan and Hinoa try to hold back an ever-growing horde of flame humans when suddenly, a demon attacks. Uh, we have a scan later page, yada yada yada. Okay, so yeah, we, have, we open on the horned flame human kind of like, uh, like rearing back, and we cut straight to Haumea. Excellent! A demon has been born! Someone awoke with the Adora burst after all! We knew that if we used the bugs to force human combustion, then a demon would reveal itself. Wait a second. I thought the Adora Burst was just what, like, the four or five people have. Inca, the Kusakabes, the Preacher, and Haumea, or whoever the other two pillars are. Is, are all demons Adora Burst wielders? Then what's a pillar? Is it the Adora Link? What? I'm... Oh, 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 okay, that's kind of weird. That's, I don't understand that, but all right, maybe we'll understand it more as the chapter goes on. It must be hard. The firefighters can't stop the flame humans without putting them to rest. They get so very attached. And we cut back to Iris. Haha, <laughs> I'm ready. The sister's on her way, just hold on. Okay, but we've got more than, ju more than just typical flame humans. A demon has appeared. There's too many accounts. Please hurry. Um... And then I think Iris has finally arrived. I'm sorry for the delay. I'm here now. Uh, took me a bit to get dressed up. Tomaki? Wait, Tomaki's also a nun? I needed time to change. Tomaki, are you also trained as a nun? Of course. I came from the first brigade, after all. This is my first time reposing souls, though. Oh, well. Okay, let's begin. And her, like, habit catches on a pipe. And it takes off her entire outfit, somehow. Yay, Tamaki. Yay, Tamaki. <sighs> Tamaki is just wonderful, isn't she? All right. All right. Do we have to have this, Tamaki? Okubo, do you have to give us this shit? All right, she is now in just her underwear and her habit. Somehow. Somehow. No words. No fucking words, Tomaki. I've forgotten- it's been like 30 chapters since our last, like, Tomaki doing anything, so I've forgotten how much I hate her. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Why me? How did you- and Hino like, just looks on. How did you manage to lose all your clothes and keep the habit? Bikini nuns are quite fashionable. Who knows, this may send their souls to heaven more easily. Stop talking nonsense. And the flame humans all rush at them. Here they come. What if we can't repose all of them? And they're all frozen in ice. Oh boy. It's one of the, it's the first guy, uh, Karin. Is this Karin or the other one? There was Karin, Rekka, Rekka's dead. There was Karin, Fulham, and there was a third guy. I can't remember his name. I don't believe it. You're always like this, Tamaki. And yep, there is Karin with his weird trombone thing. Captain Karim. You're missing some clerics, aren't you? Hinoa here. Captain Karim has joined us. Ah, perfect timing. We're back with Obi and uh, Iris. Couldn't get any, any other help from the first? That's why I asked for your help personally. Because Commander Obi demanded that we come to the rescue. And Shinra? Oh, the, I, I thought for a second that like, Karim, the Charon had like, cloned himself, like Mirage did back in the day. But no, it was just a bunch of Charon's mooks. Shinra's surrounded by the mooks. And Charon tells them all to go after the runaway girl. As you wish, sir. Wait! And, um, Shinra, like, runs at them, and one of the mooks, like, grabs, uh, like, blocks his fist with his elbow. Out of the way! And one of the mooks, like, grabs him from behind. 
Let go, damn it! I won't let you! And he tries to slam the mook from behind, it looks like, in some kind of chokehold. But he just, like, slams him down into uh, the dirt. Ugh. Um, and then there's a, some blast of fire, and someone new has showed up. Tor Toru Kishiri from the 5th. I came because I received an order saying you needed help. Have we met him before, back in the Versus of the 5th arc? I don't really remember. That, I wasn't too big on that arc. And I don't really remember, um, anything about, uh, this guy, Toru Kishiri. But yeah, he's here. Another one? Um, no, I, I was just passing through. And is he this guy, is he the source of all these missiles? And yeah, the mooks are like, wait, what the fuck? And they all just get blown away. Oh no, that's the second brigade. Some guy from the second brigade. Um, I think we've met Juggernaut before in the first arc. And I think he's the guy to the side. So dangerous. I've arrived. Wow, incredible barrage. I don't recognize, um, this giant man. With a giant arm. They're like bigger than Juggernaut's head. Come on. And some mooks go flying at the second guys. I And he launches a couple like spheres. I can't tell if it's Juggernaut's bubblegum. Or like water bubbles. I can't quite tell. Uh, but they just explode. We can't get any closer. Uh, and yet one of them gets hit with a, with a missile and goes flying. Whoa! Stay back. And another one of them explodes. Good work, Juggernaut. I'll hold them back. You keep punching. Right. Wait, so which one of, which one of them is Juggernaut? I can't tell who's talking there. We also need to fight long distance. And Carolyn's like ordering his mooks around. As you wish. And uh, Shinra flies off to go track down Inca, leaving uh, the fight with the mooks to um, Toru and the fifth guys. I won't let them take that girl. Shinra Kusakabe, where do you intend to go? Where Inca was, Yes. Yes. That's it, isn't it? Answer my question! And Carol Mike takes off to go flying um, after Shinra and grabs him by the neck. What? And slams him into a building. Shit. And just goes all the way through the building. Road. And he, um, like, gets his foot underneath, like, right here on Caron and slams him down, face down on the ground. And... Now Caron goes flying through the other side of the building, and he, like, lands onto the roof with his feet. Um, and Shinra, and he, like, looks, he like, has this crazy grin on his face. And Shinra kind of, like, lumbers out of the, uh, the hole in the wall. Stop! Don't touch me! And, oh, they've grabbed Inca. Get off! Let me go! Silence! Hey, leave that girl alone! Uh, and she kind of glares at, um... Shinra. At Shinra, of all people. Not the guys who were, like, kidnapping her. Don't mess with me. I refuse to live in a world without this feeling. I'm assuming that feeling is the adrenaline rush when she's, like, robbing people. What? And Shinra, like, looks at her. What is your problem? The three in conflict. Will the perplexed Shinra be able to convince her? To be continued. Chapter 105. Conclusion. Um, alright. Alright. So, this chapter... Uh, was not as great, I'd say, as the rest of the arc. I said that last week, too. Uh, which is a shame the arc is not as high as, like, those first few, those first few chapters that were just such phenomenal adrenaline rushes. Um, this chapter had that frustrating Tamaki bit, uh, which is just par for the course of the Tamaki. Look, Tamaki, if someone gets killed off in the 8th, I want it to be Tamaki, alright? She's, something needs to happen to her. Uh, but we also have Captain Karim showing up for the first time in, like, 70 chapters, I think. Um, after that, there was... What else happened? Um, so yeah, there was Karim, the new guys from the 5th, who I... I'm going to look up if we've seen uh, Toru Kishiri before. Uh, but I don't think we have. Um, let's see. He's 3rd generation fire officer from the 5th. Yeah, he showed up in the 5th uh, Brigade arc. All right. Back in the chapter... Oh, no, he was in the introduction arc. All right, I'm looking at the wiki now. Uh, yeah, I guess he was one of the rookies that trained with, um, with Shinra? Or, oh no, that's the end of the introduction arc when they see the sentient flame human. That's where, that's where he's from. Alright, so yeah, he's around too. 
Um, let me see. When all was which one? Which one was Juggernaut? I can't. Ta I was not familiar enough with their characters to. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. So Taker. So Juggernaut. Uh, Takaru Noto. He is the guy that was not in the giant armor suit. Um. Or what? Hold up. Here's a picture of him in the suit that the other guy was in. I don't know. I'm I'm really lost with the with all those guys. The first couple arcs, it's been so long since I read. I don't remember them too well. Um, but yeah, they're here. They have some cool abilities. I love the missiles that just come flying in. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty much all we got this time. I think that is him in the giant suit because he doesn't have his eyes open in any of the other pictures. Um, this guy with the bubble gun is someone else. I think. Um, but yeah, yeah. So, sorry that last bit kind of rambled. I, I don't remember half these characters. Half, like, the characters that not showed up since, like, chapter 12. I don't I don't remember Takaru at all. Or not Takaru, uh, Toru at all. I vaguely remember Juggernaut, and that's mainly from the fucking calendar chapter. Um, so yeah, yeah. This was still, it was still a good chapter. Uh, looks like this arc is wrapping up next week, because it's called Conclusion. So maybe, it, maybe it's from something else, but maybe it's, like, the end of the arc. I don't know. We'll see on uh, next Saturday when, or probably Saturday when uh, 105 comes out. Uh, but I don't know what will be happening by then. Um, so yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this video off here. I hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video. Uh, I don't think anything else to say, right? Dragonite's powers are cool, and I've not seen them in a while, and I love this whole missile attack. And look at this other guy like chewing bubble gum, and it's exploding. And I'm hoping uh, that we see a lot like bigger, like, climactic fight, um, between, like, that's just Shinra and Charon going at it, or Shinra and Inka, I don't know, I, I, I honestly, I think Inka's gonna get kidnapped, because I don't see how anyone can beat Charon at this point in the game, and right now, Charon only wants to take Inka and get out of there, so they really don't have to beat him now, uh, it's not like Shinra will die if they lose, like, Charon is just after Inka, I think, um, so that's how I imagine, next week going, though, but Charon will take Inka and, like, just pummel Shinra and get out of there. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that's my theory for next week. I'm gonna leave it here. I hope you enjoyed the chapter and the video. If you drop me a like, subscribe, whatever the fuck you want. I don't really care. And as always, people, keep kicking ass, and I'll see you in the future. Bye!